Welcome back to Truly Heal and our free ozone training. Today we look at sinus insufflations. You know, sinus treatments with ozone are probably not everybody's favorite, but they're very effective and they work like a charm. Now, out of my personal experience, my wife had very severe sinusitis for many years and breathing problems and we started to do the treatment and after five days it was all gone and it was so evident she didn't do anything else and we've recommended this treatment to many others and it always worked the same so it is definitely an easy process but you need a bit of practice and that's what we will do in this video i'll show you how to do it safe why? Because you should never breathe in ozone. So if you breathe it into your lungs, it's harmful and you don't want that. But we know it discharges so fast in a mucous membrane that if you blow it into your sinus area and then blow it out, what comes out is no longer ozone. It has discharged already all its electrical energy, the a singlet energy into the mucous membrane, stimulated your immune system, killed off bacteria so that it's no longer dangerous, but you need to do it right. Now the process, I always say something we need to train and I don't want you to do straight away with ozone, do it a few times as dry training like I do and then you will see it's no risk and no problem at all. The very first thing you do and you start out like everything with ozone, low concentration. You might have massive, uh, you know, gangrene in here and the reaction could be very strong and you don't want that. So you start out again with a low concentration and we say tw half liter, which is 23 um, microgram or milliliter, um, microgram per milliliter is a good starting place. So I turn it here to one half. I insert my syringe onto the ozone generator, turn it on, and now you know as soon as I turn on, it builds a lot of pressure in here so you can turn it on and off, and you can see the syringe is already filling. Now I turn off the device and at the same time unscrew the syringe. As soon as I turn it off, no more ozone is produced, but it is in here, it still blows. Now it still blows oxygen, which is still here in that flow regulator, the pressure still blows out, but it's no more ozone because you've turned off. When you unscrew, when you have full enough, that's fine. So it's just the same time, unscrew and turn off. All right, now you have it in here. If you hold it this way, it slowly runs out because it's heavier than air. And that's why we keep it this way in the flask. Now what you do is, I actually shouldn't do it with ozone direct. So let me just discharge it here into this MnO3. So I don't breathe in ozone or blow it into the room. I blow it into here, take the syringe off. And what comes out here is oxygen. Okay, now again, I put it on and this time I don't turn the ozone generator on. I just turn it on like that, see it fills and that's it. Now turn it off and I have here imaginary ozone, it's actually just oxygen. Okay, hold it between your fingers like that so that you can blow it out very fast. And this is something, you know, it's probably with 40 milliliters, 30 milliliters is fine. Again, volume doesn't really play a big role, you just want to get it up high. So say 40 milliliters. Again, you put it on, it probably will still fill because it's still pressure coming. So 40 milliliters, I turn it off, turn off, and now I take a deep breath and do that before. Nothing goes into your lungs anymore. They are full, right? They're completely blown up. So that's what you want. It's a protective means that no more air can fit into your lungs. And then you insert your uh, uh, your syringe into your nasal area, hold the other nose closed and then blow in very fast the whole ozone into that nasal area. And it needs to be a bit with pressure so that you really go in and whoop, blow it up. And then you hold your nose closed for as long as you can and then poof, breathe out ozone through the nose and through your mouth 
to blow it away. Like I said, it has already discharged. Once it's up your sinus, it's discharged in a second. So don't worry about what comes out of your nose. It's no more ozone. So just be very, very easy in training it first. I screwed it on wrong. Now, now the pressure is gone. Okay. We fill it up with oxygen. At 40, we pull the plug, turn it off. Now we take a deep breath. And blow it out through nose and mouth. That's it. Very simple. Now you do the same thing again. Screw it on. Fill it up to 30, 40, whichever you like. Take it off. Turn off the generator. Other nose. And... You realize? Very simple. When you fill your lungs, there is no more that can go in. Ozone reacts in a second in your mucous membrane, so there is no risk of breathing it in. But you need to try train. Do it before. We had patients that all of a sudden, because of that, that piercing feeling, snapped for air and then it went into their lungs. So do it a few times so that you feel safe and then do this treatment. It's absolutely amazing. Now, for those of you who have sinus problem, bronchial problems, the bronchial tree, if you have lung problems, the inhaling of ozonites is a very, very gentle form of this treatment. Now, the gas is bang and it has immediate results. The oil and the ozonites are very gentle and a lot slower. So you can do the oil bubbling and oil breathing and it does the same. It just is not as effective to get rid of a problem or to get, you know, your nose cleared up again as the gas would be.